Hello, everyone. Good day, good day. Um, today we're going to do a quick live video. Hopefully I'm going to do it quick. Uh, we're going to do an acrylics. We're going to work on an 8x10. And um, let me show you maybe what I'm working on. Hey, guys, if you're just joining me, we're working with acrylics today. We're going to paint a mountain scene. I'm going to be doing it on an 8x10. Um, so let me just show you. This is what we're working on. Um, I'm gonna show you the picture from time to time as much as I can so we can work with this. So let me show you the colors that I have. I have a cad yellow medium, I have a lizarin crimson, or I think, no, actually that's magenta. Gunakadon magenta, um, cad red medium, ultramarine blue, uh, Prussian blue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and titanium white. I just did a quick sketch of what I'm going to be doing. Let me show you the brushes that I'm using. Uh, so I'm going to be using a lot of small, well, not that small, but let me see. All right. These are the brushes I'm going to be using. The black ones, these are the Princeton Catalyst. All right, this is like a number six. I might be using some filberts and some flats, round brush, and some cheapy brush as well. So basically the gist of this is just to show you can do a painting, painting pretty quickly on, uh, on a scene, you know, using acrylics and um, not worried about details. That's what I'm all about. Not worrying about details when you do a painting. So just to get started, um, all right, let's start. Okay, so I'm, one more time for you that are just joining, this is what we're doing. Okay. All right, so to start off with the trees, I'm gonna start putting in some of the darks. So for the darks, I'm gonna go um, Burnt umber, maybe a little bit of Prussian blue. And you might wonder why I use Prussian blue versus the ultramarine blue. It's probably, Prussian blue's got a little bit of green to it, and it's a very strong color, very dark. And with the uh, burnt umber, it makes like a nice kind of greenish tinge color. Okay, so let me make it to a sharp point there. All right, just like that. I know this looks crazy, but it's the whole point of the video. How to paint really loose with acrylics and still able to tell a story. And I know there's some other tree here. There's some here, varying sizes. All right, so there's another one. Here, both of them make this one a little bit taller. Now, remember when you're painting with acrylics, um, the colors, the initial stage is not going to be very dark. It's not like oils when you know you can have like dark, rich colors with oils, right? Acrylics is a little bit different. Uh, they don't cover as well, so it will be in stages, all right? And the problem is that sometimes when you paint these stages, a lot of people give up after like um, the first two stages because it's like, you know, they go through this ugly stage and that's the first mistake they make is doing that, you know, just giving up right away. So now the mountain, I see like a bluish hue. So for the mountains, we're going to go ultramarine blue. 
little bit of burnt umber. Maybe a little bit more ultramarine blue. All right, so let me see. I'm gonna go over a lot of the stuff that I that I just put in. This is basically a wash of colors. The second stage of this painting is what's gonna go in high gear and we're gonna see more details of this. Okay. Looks ugly for now, but it won't later. All right, now we're gonna work on, well, let me put the grass first. Use a little fatty here. This is a number six flat. So let's go with a little bit of ultramarine blue, a little bit of yellow. Maybe a hint of burnt sienna. Remember, you're capturing a scene quickly. Maybe a little bit of red, more yellow. And notice that I'm not very particular about my strokes, right? It's like, whatever, just get it covered. All right, for the sky, we're gonna start. So I have, let me show you so far, what you're looking at. All right, looks a little bit different, but worry not. I know what I'm doing, I'm a pro at this. Just messing with you. All right, so let's go with some Prussian. Maybe I would have benefited more from um, from a phthalo blue. All right, let me put a little bit of yellow into this. Trying to make a nice big pile of it. All right. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, gonna make that little transition. It's almost like speed painting. Now, this is the first coat. I may just decide to keep just one coat. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Right now, this is basically my my roadmap. Wipe off my brush really good. So now let's start working on red, a little bit of yellow. Get a good glob of this.
How are you guys doing today? I know some people are just getting out of work. What a wonderful time to be doing a painting. But then you got other people from around the world that are watching. Hard to get everybody's attention at the same time. All right. For now, we're just going to do this. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more red. It's okay if I paint over what I just did. Goes to show you that with acrylics, it really doesn't matter. You can, you know, if you're painting loose, um, there's really no rules here. Okay. Because what people tend to do is just, oh my God, I just painted over what I just did. It's ruined. It's never ruined. Put some of that up here. Look, I'm just being free here. All right? Look at that. All right. Let me fix some of this. And I want you to experiment and stay free and loose. Don't, don't get all caught up and... Um, and all the shenanigans. All right. Now, let me see. It's kind of rainy today and it's kind of humid, so the paint's not drying as fast as it usually does. But no problem. We're not going to make excuses. We're just going to shoot right for it. Ooh. Okay. Well, I don't have a dryer. We're just going to work through this okay we're gonna pretend like this is almost like oils all right i'm gonna go back over this right here Oh yeah, this is ooh, not panning out. It's not drying fast enough. Shit. All right, this is not Typically, this dries faster than this, but uh, let me see what I can do here. We're going to paint thick. All right. Change of plans, folks. Things are not working out like I want it to. We're going to use, we're going to paint thick. All right. This is what we're going to have to do here. I'm going to have to paint thick using a cheap brush. Uh, this is a creative mark. Value line. This is a flat. So... Let's do this. I'm going to pick up a lot of brush, a lot of brush, a lot of paint as if I'm paint, painting like with oils. I'm going to make a little bit of a distant mountain as well. I'm 
make this one a little bit distant. Give it another ridge just like that. Cut in. Let's put some other parts of the, uh, let's see, some. Burn Sienna. An ultramarine blue, do some. Some of the tree lines. I'm just looking back at my reference. This will all make sense very soon. Mixing some colors here together. Okay. I mean, use some white and a little bit of this color here. Put some snow cap. And the snow cap, I'm using a little bit of red due to the fact that the sun uh, not the sun, the sky is reflecting on the snow. So you're going to see some of that reflecting as well. Okay. So now that we're going on this side of the mountains, we're going to go with a little bit more of a um, bluish tint because it's not really getting that much sun. And we're going to work over this a little bit more afterwards. Right now is just the preliminaries. And if there's something we don't like, we can change eventually. Let me see. Well, there's a snow side on this side. Even with a cheap brush, you can make a decent painting. The base of this is going to be a little bit on the blue side. Okay. Let me see. Now let's work a little bit more of the other details of this painting. I 
I can see there's another backside of this mountain here. Put some nuances. The paint is finally starting to dry a little bit here. And we'll be able to further enhance the painting. So now I'm gonna let this to dry just a little bit and then we're gonna cut through this all over again, do most of this stuff here. So now I'm gonna go for the trees, um, make a nice dark here. Okay, make a sharp. So you see on the second coat, you could get it darker. And this is where people start losing it when they get to this part or this stage of the painting because they feel like, you know, um, it's not coming through as they vision in their head and then this is where they give up. So I'm here to show you whether I make mistakes or not that you shouldn't give up. Okay. And on top of that, I'm using like really cheap brushes to do the work. And it looks like nothing now, but you will see the transformation when, it's, when we get there. It's all about building up the layers. That's the thing with acrylics. You build up the layers. All right. Now, 
start working on the grass a little bit here. Ultramarine blue, a little bit of And I'm going to let some of the base color show through. And right now it looks pretty ugly. There's no question about that. But that's not a reason why you should give up on it, your painting, right off the bat. Okay. All right. Ooh, all right, let me see. All right, let me work on a sky one more time. Just continue. Let me see. Um, Prussian blue, white, a little bit of yellow. So now that I have my roadmap, there you go, you just cut in. Very impressionistic style. Okay, now let's start working on some of that. Um, Red here. All right, uh, let me see. Lots of white. Red, a little bit of yellow. All that, and I'm still using a cheap brush. Ooh. There's apparently some blue mixed with it. You can see the difference here. The chroma is a lot, um, it's not, the colors are not as diluted here. This is why you see that big difference. Now I'm gonna try to mute the color. So I used a red, uh, yellow, and a little bit of blue to mute uh, the color down a little bit. So let me see. There you go. A little bit more red, yellow. A little bit of white. It's like basically like sculpting. Here 
There you go, sculpt the tree a little bit. And I'm still using a big brush, despite all that. Just doing a transition color here. Okay. Now, all right. Let me see, we're going to use a smaller brush now. I'm going to work on the trees, giving them a little bit more definition. Back to doing dark colors. I switched up brushes, as you notice. Because the bristles on this synthetic brush are a little bit softer so there won't be this uh, rough these rough brush mark as you can see from the earlier brush Just trying to make a dark here. Just using my blues and reds and black. And I'm not putting too much pressure here. Even though things didn't pan out the way I wanted them, but you know, you just don't give up here. So hopefully this serves as a lesson. I'm not gonna fill in every little pocket of hole here. Just overall, because there are other colors that are gonna go in there. So don't get yourself too, you know, uh, too preoccupied with filling everything because all we're doing is a quick gist of what we're seeing when we're painting outside and then we're going to add more colors to this in a few minutes. And you can see just by the strokes, and I'm not too concerned here. All right. Okay. I probably could start working on that mountain a little bit more now. Just sculpting the mountain here a little bit. Be 
You can see through the trees. You see, look at that. I'm just cutting right in through the trees here. Right there, you can see right through the trees. Do the same thing. Here. All right, so far we're 36 minutes in. I guess this is like some of the rocky ledges on this. I see some reds in there, some browns, a little bit of blue. Some shadow lines. Mix everything up here just to give it a transition. Cut to the trees. Maybe darker shadows. Make some up and down brush strokes almost to show as if they're like trees or not. Okay. Let me work some of this snow cap here. I'm putting a lot of paint on my brush. And you could add lib and make like uh, other parts of the mountains with snow cap. Let me see. Uh, let's just add here. Let's add like a little snow cap there. Let's put one on a distant mountain here.
right there. It's be some in shadow. Here, let's add the snow cap going right through those trees here, back here. Show continuation. Even though it doesn't show it like that in the painting, um, in the painting, in the photo, doesn't mean you can't do it. So right now I'm kind of making it my own bit here. I know there's some tree line in the back here, so we're gonna make, let me see, some ultramarine blue, a little bit of white, a little bit of burnt sienna, maybe a little bit of Prussian blue. I know there's some trees back here. Add a little bit of yellow, perhaps, even though they're distant. There you go. A little bit of this color here. All right, let's do some of the trees here. <clears throat> let's give them a little bit of color at least. Ultramarine blue, a little bit of yellow. A little bit of red, perhaps. Let me see what we got here. Yes. I'm letting some of the dark base show through here. And the reason why I'm using more blue is uh, because it's in shadow, so it's not going to be in full uh, warm colors coming from the sky, so. Keep that in mind. And then we're going to put a tree trunk in here, but we're going to save that for last. And we're going to add a little bit more color to this eventually. And notice the brush stroke here. I, you don't see me trying to be really careful about this, are you? All right. And the reason is this is supposed to be fast and loose. Let's see, put a little bit of... color in this one here. Extend the tree branches a little bit. All right, the further ones in the back, we're going to give it a little bit more color. Especially this bad boy right here. It's going to be a more out into the sun, uh, more light shining on this one here.
and I'm putting, let me put, actually, let me put some Prussian blue here in yellow. Make it like a nice, dark green, and then that back one, a little bit more bluish green, actually. Just like that. Get some of these limbs here because sun's coming from this side so we're just gonna add a little bit um, of color to some of these branches actually more yellow give it a little bit more warmth not every single one of them just some there you go not everything actually let me make a little bit of pile of orangey color Same thing with the bottom ones, perhaps. Just the tops. Really nondescript. Let's do this. Um, actually, you know what? Let me extend the bottom of these tree and bring them forward a little bit more. Because why not? I think it'll look better. Let me just work on the grass really quick and then we're going to add some other features into this painting as well uh the grass let's do back to the ugly brush here add a little bit of red yellow blue give some warmth some dark
add a little bit of white and what this white is going to do is going to gray down that green a little bit I'm going to give some grasses I'm just flicking the brush upwards And I'm letting some of the colors from the base show through. And I'm, notice I'm not being uniform as far as like what gets covered and what doesn't. I'm just haphazardly there, just like that, just to tone it down a little bit. I'm mean, going to use a little bit more yellow on some parts of it. Like some pockets. Of grass here. And actually even a little bit more white. And I'll tell you why in a little bit of red. I'm going to push. The grass here. Just this side right here. This part. I'm going to push it further back. There you go. And go up just a little bit more just to show like these little trees here in the background. And I you can distinct here like how these trees are a little bit lower here to the foreground. These are, I'm just like letting it like midway. There you go. Now let me add, let me see. I guess I could try and see if I should add another tree. Let's add another tree here. Like right here, let me do that. I'm using a round brush. Yeah, let me just. Right there, just like that. It may or may not look good. We'll find out in a minute. And don't be afraid to go over what you just did. I mean, I didn't invest too much time, what, an hour of my time, but whatever. If it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. If it, if it does, it's, it's good. You're going to have to have a positive attitude about your paintings, you know. Um, don't always think that, you know, you have to be tight. You, you just want to express what you're seeing. That's all you're trying to do is just a little shadow here. Now I'm like really deviating from the actual reference, but then again... That's exactly what it is, just a reference. I could do whatever I want with this now and make it mine. You see what I mean? So, all right. Now we're going to add some stock to these trees here. Let me see. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit of red. And look, I'm using a fat brush. Just making it to a pointy tip. There you go. I'll tell you what, let me add 
Perhaps a little roof like a cabin here somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a little cabin here. So let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, let me see the roof. We'll make a color like, let me see if this would work. Maybe add a little bit of red to it, reflecting the sky color. Probably a little bit more red. Really like nondescript here. Let's make a little chimney. Of course, what cabin in the mountains would not have a chimney? Shoot. Houston, we have a problem. at the top of that chimney. So, all right, so I may want to consider this complete. I might leave this one dark here up front. Um, let's add
Okay. I don't know, what do you guys think? Turned out not too bad. For something that, you know, you paint it like in about an hour, you know, really fast, very impressionistic, very loose painting. Um, I mean, I had some issue at the beginning due to the fact that I couldn't get this to dry real fast enough, but hey, I, just to go to show you, you just gotta push through a little bit sometimes. So let me see, I'm trying to think what else I can do to this to uh, perhaps enhance it. Mm. I could try and put some snow, but nah, no snow because then it's gonna, you know, let's put some, um, I know what I'm gonna do. Put a lot of water. Make a glaze of smoke coming out this chimney here. There you go. There. I could do some others over here, but I think it would be a little bit too much. Uh, Okay. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was trying to be a quick and loose here. And there you go. Hope you liked it. Thank you, Greg. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you always, you know, for your support. Uh, I mean, I could do more to this, but I'm just trying to keep the, the video under an hour. Well, I just went a little bit over an hour here. So um, the thing was, what I was trying to show basically is just, I mean, even with a cheap brush, you know, you can make a painting and you can make a fast one, you know, uh, as you go along. You don't need that long. You don't have to stay detailed. You can still convey what you're seeing um, just loosely, loose interpretations, you know. And then once you get home, you, I could go, you know, I could do this uh, over with paint, uh, with oil paints now. I can, like, stop everything that I'm doing. Take, bring out my oil paints, and I can define these even more. The sky, do whatever I want with oil paints on top of that if I want like a smoother look. Or even take the acrylics and go back over it. It makes it, you know, tighten it up a little bit more, places where I think it needs a little bit more work. Um, it's, it's up to you. But the essential is to capture the scene and not rely too much on your reference photos, right? Um, and 
kind of make it your own. You know, keep it fresh, keep it live. I guess that's what I'm trying to convey to you guys, you know. Um, so, I mean, I hope this was beneficial to you. Uh, and I explained, you know, pretty clearly some of the steps. But, you know, tell me what you think in the comments. You know, like and subscribe and, you know, that whole spiel. Uh, just let me know. You know, I may, once I do finish off with this video, I might even just go with my oils and then just, uh, you know, tighten a few things up, whatnot, you know. Whatever. I'm happy kind of like the way it is. It's just quick, fresh, it's loose. You can see the strokes or the brush marks and all that stuff. And, you know, this kind of style of painting is not for everybody. But for those of you that are just, you know, too tight with your painting and just like really struggling to work with acrylic, like it dries too fast on you, I'm just showing you, put a lot of paint on your brush, make quick loose, don't burden yourself with details. Go loose until you, you know, get your confidence and then you just it's just like small building blocks you know water soluble oils i can do the same thing yeah i can use my water soluble oils and just go over this and uh, you know uh, i have some around here somewhere but this video will be a little bit longer if i did that but what i can do is save this to the side and bust out the oils next time use this painting as a as an example and you know, we could see where we could go with this. Man, not too bad of an idea. I might just do that. Thanks for that idea. You know, thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. I might do that. We'll see. I'll keep it to the side and we'll figure out another video with this. I know some people have been asking me lately about water soluble. Um, I like them, but sometimes, you know, I, I just tend to go back to traditional oils. The, the problem that I have with uh, water mixable oils is that the paint will stay tacky for a long time and i mean i think i figured out the the issue but uh uh well i'll let you guys know once we get to that stage of the video but other than that hey guys thank you very much for supporting my channel as all as always you know thank you and uh hopefully i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe if you haven't so you'll be up to par and up to date with every other new videos that i do and you won't miss one and i'm going to try to pop out a lot more videos for you guys in, t in 2024 all right so uh, i just had a bit a little bit of setbacks so thank you thank you very much just a little bit of setbacks but uh i'm gonna try my best for you guys okay all right Hope you guys have a nice holiday, have a good day, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.